And as we started to see any position with the legs. Let's take a side body stretch. Take your left hand down and your right hand overhead. And the other side, right hand goes down, left hand goes overhead. Chest expansion, hands go back behind you, knuckles press down and away. Drop your chin to your chest. Continue to move your arms away from your lower back. Lift your head up, bring your knuckles over to the left. Pin your elbows behind you. Lean slightly back, belly in, and take your right to your right shoulder. Keep your hands where they are. Left to your left shoulder. Back to center and take your knuckles over to your right. Pin your elbows back, belly in. Left to your left shoulder, lift chin up and breathe. Keep your hands where they are, right your right shoulder. Back to center, tabletop position. All fours, hands and knees. Take your fingertips to the outer edges of your mat and let's circle through the torso, right, left, or any organic movements that feel good. Slowly come back to center, shake out one wrist and then the other. Let's go right to downward facing dog, tuck your back toes, bring your hips up high. And take about six rounds pedaling your feet to one presses down and then the other. Gaze forward, top of your mat, and exhale, travel to your gaze. Halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Tadasana Mountain Pose, reach your hands high to your sky. Hands to your heart center, interlace your hands, reach your knuckles overhead. Circle your rib cage, right, left, a little bit forward and back. You can even twist right, left. And then slowly pause, fan out your fingers nice and wide up to the sky. Grab your left wrist and bend right. Back to center, belly in, switch out your hands, bend left. Back to center, hands up to your hips, widen out your stance with the heels of your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Drop down to a squat, hands to the inner thighs, drop your left shoulder rinse. Right shoulder rinse. One more time each side. Back to center, lower your hands to your ankles, traction your thighs back. Inhale, reach up high to the sky, hands to your heart center, walk your feet in just hips with distance, chest expansion again, bend your knees and exhale, fold. Shift your weight forward. Release your hands down to the mat. Take tabletop position. Drop one knee down and then the other. Cat cow for four.
three. Two. And one. Nice neutral spine, downward facing dog. Take your right toes high, open up your hip. Runners lunge on the right. Move around your right leg, right hip. Then quad stretch, drop your left knee. Take your right hand to the top foot. You can drop down to your forearm or ground to the outer edge of your right foot. Slowly come back to center. Hands go down. Walk your right foot more to the middle. Straighten out your right leg, half split. Walk back to a low lunge. Lift your back knee for horizon lunge. Ground with the outer edges of both feet, front and back. Kind of move around the right hip forward and up. And exhale, low lunge, down dog kick. Open up your hip once again. You can circle whatever feels good. And then downward facing dog. Left side, left toes go high, open up your hip. Gaze forward, runner's lunge. Move around your left hip once again. Quad stretch, drop your back knee. Open up. Same variation you took on the other side. Slowly come back to center, walk your left foot more to the middle. Straighten out your left leg. Come back to center for horizon lunge. Lift your back knee, open up and twist. Hands go down, low lunge to down dog kick. Open up your hip. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands to the back of your mat and fold. Take ragdoll pose, grab opposite elbows, hang heavy. Release your hands, come halfway up. Fold, big toes together to touch. Kratos in the chair pose, bend your knees. The open arm twist, right hand goes back, left hand goes forward. Sit off into a side body stretch. Inhale, press up, grab your left wrist, bend right. Back to center, chair, open arm twist, left hand goes back behind you, right hand forward. Sit off in a mountain pose, grab your right wrist, left wrist, bend right for opposite way. Back to center, hands onto your hips, big step forward, prosperita. 
So take one foot to the top of your mat, toes in, heels out. Make sure your back is nice and flat. When you're ready, fold. You can add a twist. You can grab the outer edges of your feet or walk your hands through your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Let's go to the top of our mat. Doesn't matter which leg is bent. Step forward, feet hip width distance. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Siddhasana Mountain Pose, reach all the way up. Hands to your heart center. Siddhasana to figure four. Right foot is up, cross over. Shift your weight back and down. One leg Tadasana, pause right here. Steeple grip overhead, inch lift your hands, point your fingers, point up. Warrior three, kick all the way back, extend all the way forward. Nice and strong, hold three, two, and rise up to standing. Hands to your heart center, figure four, other side. Shift your weight back and down. One leg Tadasana, steeple grip overhead. Warrior three, biceps by your ears, hinge forward, square your hips. Hold three, two, and rise up to standing. Feet together to touch, chair pose, hands to your heart center. Prayer twist, left elbow outside of your right thigh. Back to center, other side, prayer twist. Back to center, reach up, and fold, hinge into your weight. Halfway lift, step your right leg back, low lunge, open up warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, reach up and back. Extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. And warrior two. Let's just switch out the legs. So right knee goes bent. Inhale, reverse warrior or reverse triangle. Extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Warrior two. Now one more round on this side. Reverse triangle. Extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Warrior two to the front, so bend your left knee again. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. This time, low lunge. Hands go down, square your front foot. Airplane your arms and crescent lunge. So the left leg is still forward. Hold three, two, and one. Reach your hands forward. Hold three, two, one leg Tadasana. Root down through your right or left foot. Right knee comes up. Lunge, take your hands forward, lunge all the way down and all the way back, and press away, find your lift. Let's take it five more rounds, inhale down, drive through your heel, engage your left glute. Just three. Exhale on the way up, two. Last one, stamp your foot down, Take your one leg Tadasana, left leg lift. Lunge, take your left leg down, right knee bend. Drive through, lift up. Four more. 
last three. Nice and strong, two. Last one. Now stay at the lunge, airplane your arms. Reach your hands forward. Hold three, two, and one. Hold. Take tabletop position, both knees down. Swing your feet around. Take your feet in front of you. Come all the way down onto your back. Hug your knees in. Take your knees in line with your hips. Hands go behind the back of your head at a high diagonal. Lengthen your legs, lift your chest. Exhale, curl in. High diagonal, curl in. Six, five, four, three, two, last one, a little bit lower in the diagonal. Lower. Six. Five. Four. You've got it. Three. Last two. Last one. A low hover. Take your feet low and exhale, drive in. Nice and low. Drive in. Last six, five, four, three, two, hug your knees in, the medium diagonal, so just halfway and in, halfway and in. Last six, five, four, three, two, hug your knees in at a high diagonal, high in. Last six, Five, four, we'll stamp the feet down in three, two, knees point up, feet go down, bicycle twist on one side, take your right knee in, hover forward, twist, lengthen, keep your legs straight and reach. Now every time you twist, find your shoulder to the knee, every time you lift, lift your tailbone. Now go faster here. 20 seconds. Ten more seconds. Slowly switch to the other side. Go slow first, left knee. Find your hover, plug in your hip, twist shoulder to the knee, find leg, and then reach up, lift your tailbone. Twist, length hover. Then go a little bit faster. Twenty more seconds. Ten more seconds.
regular crunches in three, two, and one. Take your left foot down, hands behind the back of your head, reset up, lengthen, crunch in, tiny pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab the back of your thighs. Rock and roll up to a tabletop position. We'll add the weights into our glutes. So you can create fist onto the mat if you'd like, or come down to the forearms. Take um, a light set of weight, or maybe a five pound weight behind your right knee. We're gonna lift up and out. So out to the side, engage up, and out to the side. 10 of these. Last three. Two, and one. Keep your right knee in line with your right hip. Engage your glutes in tiny pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your right knee down. Switch it out to the left side. So know that if you're using a heavier set of weights, know that you can go slower than my count. When you're ready, left knee goes up. Inhale down and open up to the side. Up with resistance, open up, engage. 10. Halfway there if you're five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly drop your weight. Let's go to downward facing dog. Tuck your back toes, bring your hips up high. Take your right foot behind the left, pinky toe to pinky toe. Bend your left knee and press your hips back. Other side, feet hip to a distance. Take your left foot behind the right. Bend your right knee, shift your weight back and just wag your tail from side to side. Take your feet hip to a distance. Gaze forward, top of your mat. Exhale, travel to your gaze. Halfway lift, no weights. And exhale, fold for narrow rows. So the weight side that feels good, maybe a five or eight. Come all the way up to standing. Shoulders roll back a couple rounds. Feet stay hips with distance. Bend your knees. Weights in front of you. Pull back. Let's take uh, wide rows also. So narrow and then wide. Let's take 20 nice and strong. Halfway there, 10 more. Your pace, three, two, last one. Great job, come all the way up to standing. 
Once again, shrug your shoulders back. We'll get into our squat position. So whatever weight size feels good, maybe a heavier set of weights or um, both light weights, your choice. Let's just come halfway down and up. So inhale, halfway down, exhale up. A little bit faster pace, 20. Last 10. Slowly come up to standing. Walk your feet in a hip to distance. We'll take a lunge to one leg to the asana. So take it nice and slow. Your set of weights that feel okay. Take your right leg back behind you. Find your lunge position. Weights can stay at your heart center to start. And then take your lunge down. One leg Tadasana, lift all the way up. So take two more with no uh, arm movements just yet. Feel the weight in foundation. And then pause at your lunge. Take your right hand forward, your left hand back. One leg Tadasana. Switch out your hands and come up. Inhale down. Exhale, find your lift. Let's take it for 10. Halfway there, here's five. Keep breathing, two. And step to the top of your mat. Nice. Feet hip to distance. Wide flies. Shift your weight forward. Hover down, exhale, open up. Take it slow to catch your breath. You got it, six more. Slowly come all the way up to standing. All right, the lunge opposite side with one leg Tadasana. No hands to start. Each side will feel a little bit different. So feel foundation, lean down. One leg Tadasana, spring up, engage your right glute. Hover down two more. Last one. Stay in your lunge position. Left hand forward, right hand back, lean forward. When you're ready, one leg Tadasana, switch out your hands. Take it back and up. 10 more, your pace. Halfway there, here's five. Great job, step to the top of your mat. Calf lifts. You grab your heavy set of weights, shoulders go back. Hip to distance, lift both heels. Hover, lift. Two 
Shoulders back, six more. Big toes together to touch, heels slightly separate. Shoulders back and lift. Six more. Heels together to touch, feet slightly separate. Last one, shoulders back and exhale, lift. Go hips with distance, deadlifts, heavy set of weights. Be mindful, we worked a lot into the back line of our body. So make sure you're feeling okay going all the way down or halfway down. Micro bend your knees, shift your weight forward, feel the back line of your body, drive through the heels of your feet, engage your glutes, and come up. Inhale down and exhale lift. If you're feeling it a lot through the calves, just come halfway down and exhale, lift to feel more into your glutes. Yogis, just six more. And listen carefully, bend your knees, keep your heart lifted, come all the way down to your back, drop your weight, come to a seat. Let's take a, actually a forward um, fold to stretch out our calves a little bit. Just take a fold, drag your heels forward. All right, now let's make it all the way down onto our back. Hands go behind the back of our head once again. All right, core is nice and strong. Take your left leg up to the ceiling, right leg to a hover. Let's switch it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and pause right here. Hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, go faster. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and pause. Hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch. 10, go faster, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. You've got it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and fast. 10, this is our last round. Halfway done, five, four, three, two, and one, stamp your feet down, release your head, release your hands, take a full breath in, full breath out. Let's work the obliques, hands go 
back behind the back of your head. Lift your chest up. Tap over to the right, center, right, center. 10. Now reach as close as you can to the pinky toe and pulse. 10. Back to center, other side, reach, center, reach left, center, 10. Reach as far as you can to the pinky toe and pulse, 10. Slowly come back to center, grab the back of your thighs, rock and roll up to a tabletop position. Widen out your knees just like child's pose. If it feels okay, slowly rock your hips forward, toes go up, child's pose, press back. Two more, inhale, rock forward. And back. One more, rock forward. And back. Come down onto your forearms, walk your knees in, hips with distance. Take your right leg straight back behind you. Tap over to the left and up to the sky. Left, up. Ten more. Slowly keep your right toes up. Go straight down, halfway up. Ten more. Knees come in, straighten out your arms. Stay on the right side with your weight, curtsy lunge or curtsy what? Take your hands to get comfortable. Right knee goes in line with your hip. You can go faster, slow, hover, lift. And more. Slowly release. Stay in this hand position, arms straight, weight to your left, curtsy on the other side. Set up your stance, belly in. When you're ready, cross, lift. Same pace you did other side. And notice if you're pulling one, if you're pulling weight to the right, scoot over to the left or center. Ten more. Slowly come back to center, ditch your weight, arrive down onto your forearms, take your left leg straight back, take your left leg over to the right, and press up.
You've got it, 10 more. Pause with your left leg straight up. Just go up and down halfway. Ten more. Draw your knees together. Flex both feet and press your weight back. Downward facing dog. Feet are hips with distance. Take both heels to your right and press your hips back. Other side, heels over to your left, press your hips back. Back to center, gaze forward, top of your mat, and exhale, fold. Halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Arms, grab your five to maybe eight pound weights, bend your knees, and come all the way up to standing. So know that I always use three pound weights, so you can stick with me or go a little bit stronger. Take your right leg back behind you. Goal post your arms. Tap in and press overhead, reach. 10. Remember if you have heavier sized weights, you can go slower. Last two, last one. Draw your weights all the way overhead. Micro bend your elbows and come all the way down towards your waist. On the exhale, lift all the way overhead. So use the weight size that feels comfortable. Press all the way overhead. Six more. Next, we'll work our triceps in three, two, nice and strong, last one. Feet go hips with distance. Shoulders back, bend your knees. Weights to your hips and exhale, just press back. You can go slow or fast. Last six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Arrive all the way up to standing. Our squat position, toes out. This time we go all the way down and up for 20. Know that you can go halfway down, that's okay. When you're ready, heavy set of weight, all the way down, knock out all the way up. There's 20. Go ahead and pace that feels good for you. We know that halfway down is okay. You've got it halfway there, 10 more.
Last five. When you're ready, last one. Come all the way up to standing. Great work. Feet go hips with distance. Arms go back beside you. You're gonna lean forward. If you actually have something like a table or a chair, um, you can rest your hand on, that's perfect. Lean forward, take your right leg back behind you, hands to your heart center, and exhale, lift, lift. So once again, if you have a base to put your hand on, that might be a little bit easier or better for you. And we're here for 10. Come your, draw your feet hips with distance. Be mindful of the lower back. We'll take a variation I'll show you first, and then we'll do it all together. Similar to an airplane and a deadlift mixed together. So micro bend your left knee, shift your weight forward. The modification is just standing up right here. So once again, modification, lift up. Full variation, your airplane pose, and exhale all the way up. Inhale your airplane pose, and exhale, drive your knee in. And once again, if you feel wobbly, just come up to a standing position. So take your time, 10. Last one, go to the top of your mat, take your feet out wide, hands to your heart center, and just lift your left heel and pulse. So left heel lifts and pulse. Four, three, two, one. Straighten out your legs. Take your feet hip to a distance. Don't get tricky once again. We'll stand to the left leg. Right leg comes to a hover. One leg Tadasana. Now lift your heel. Lift. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Now other side, once again, I'll demo first so you can catch your breath. Your right leg can be foundation, left leg goes back. Modification is just standing up. Full variation is your airplane pose. Rise all the way up, one leg, Tadasana. And know that you can just drop it down to a standing position. When you're ready all together, airplane hinge forward. Make sure your weight stays center. One leg Tadasana. 10 more. You exhale on the way up. Remember, if you feel wobbly, just come to a standing position. Be mindful of the lower back. Four more. Come 
all the way up to a standing position. Take your feet hip to a distance. Hand to your heart center. Squat. Lift your right heel and pulse. Last time, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rise up to standing. All right, hands go back behind you. Now, right foot is your foundation once again. Left knee comes up, gaze to a non moving object, lift your heel. Lift 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Take your feet, get to a distance or maybe a little bit wider so you can turn the toes out. Let's take it right and left. If you want to bend your knees, feel free. If you want to go more in the squat position, just get your obliques um, working and nice and active. And we take this for 10. After this, we stretch it out in five, four, three, Two, and one, great job. Hands to your heart center, turn, drop your weights. Come to a standing position on the long part of your mat. Take your right knee to bend, arms out to a T, reverse triangle, stretch all the way back. Extended side angle, reach all the way forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Extended side angle and hold pause right here. Shorten your stance for half moon pose. You have the foundation, your glutes are powered up. When you're ready, shift your weight forward and find your half moon pose. Once again, if you have something to lean on, grab, or you're even a water bottle, feel free to use it. Your variations for three, two, and slowly come down to extended side angle. Warrior two, rise up. Switch out your feet. Inhale, reverse triangle. Extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Extended side angle, half moon pose. So my legs even feel a little shaky now, so know that if you don't come up, that's okay. If you need a prop today or a wall today, that's fine too. Feel the launch into your left leg right away. Engage your right glute and kick back. Your variations that you did on the other side. We're here for three. Last two. Extended side angle. Squat position. Lower your hands to your ankles. Big X with your body. Rise up to standing. Hands to your hips. Turn your toes in, heels out. When you're ready, prasarita, wide leg forward fold. You can get upside down, you can bite a twist, or you can just fold it deeper. Eight rounds of breath here.
When you're ready, come halfway up. Half or double pigeon to the front of your mat, so it doesn't matter which leg you do first. Whatever is to the front of your mat, you can take half pigeon, resting down, or you can drop down to your glute and swing into your double pigeon. When you're ready, fold. Two more rounds of breath. When you're ready, switch out your sides. So once again, you can spin around, take your half pigeon on the opposite side, or a double pigeon opposite side. When you're ready, you fold down. Two more rounds of breath. Slowly lift up. Come all the way down to your glutes in both variations. We'll lean back for reverse tabletop or plank. Hands go back behind you. Open up your shoulders and collarbones. Lift your hips up. Breathe two. and slowly drop your seat down. I'll end class at the seat. So if you want to stay here with me, stay here. Otherwise, you can go onto your back and rest into your final resting pose. Get into a nice comfortable position. Hands can rest onto your thighs, either palms down or palms up for a little bit more energy. And take three rounds of breath, focusing from the lower belly, lower back, knees, all the way to the space in between your feet. Just visualize the light, visualize space, ground down. Then visualize from your tailbone, lower back, the back line of your body to the back of your heart, back of the shoulders, back of the neck, and back of your head. Create space, let it widen and open up, and just move upward. And focus on the energy to the side of your hips, the side of your lungs, the sides of your neck, and the crown of your head. 
Breathe, feel your energy rising up through your side body. Then send your energy, energy to your belly, front of your heart, your throat, nose, third eye. Create space, open up, and breathe. Draw your hands to your heart center. Connect with your warmth, your strength, your motivation. Your time, your practice. Your space. Draw your heart to mind. Bow to each other's practice. Namaste. Thanks, yogis. There's a lot of balancing today, so just be mindful of breath, um, balance throughout your whole day. And of course, I'm here if you have any questions, feedback. Um, thanks for coming and I'll see you soon.